The TV show that I watch to bring me joy. This is a bit of a guilty pleasure. I always re-watch Sex in the City. We'd have to be Frasier. We'd probably be South Park. It just feels very comforting and nostalgic and... Yeah, I just, I just love 1990s Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> there is nothing quite like the sheer glee of finding a Frasier that you haven't seen before. It is just like the best thing. It's like finding chocolate that doesn't put weight on or booze that you can drink without getting completely drunk. Um, yeah, an episode of Frasier that you haven't seen before is magic. I know it's really crass sometimes. I know it could be really on PC, but uh, I think sometimes you just need a really good laugh and you need to be able to laugh without the boundaries of propriety sometimes. I always re-watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I've watched every episode and I continue to watch every episode. I never get bored and I'm never not in the mood for it. And it has brought me hours and hours of joy. Probably Friends in the main because, I mean, it, it always makes me feel great. Even though I've heard the, you know, the sequence of gags over and over and over again. I think TV is really special in that way, that it can bring you joy when you've had a bad day or, you, or it feels like a, a hug. My Italian other half is obsessed with it. And at the moment, because our daughter is seven, she doesn't understand the, any of the sexual things or swearing or whatever. So yeah, it's the kind of thing we have on in the background. Um, where we're all just noodling around and uh, I just don't think it'll ever get old. I think they're all just absolutely brilliant. I always re-watch um, a lot of British comedies, so Brass Eye, The Day Today, The Armando Nietzsche Show um, on like 120 pixels on YouTube because those are the only places I could find it. If I were to pick one, the TV show that I always go back to uh, is Blackadder which was a show I grew up with. It's the old comedies of your childhood that you don't keep watching over and again, but when you do, they do lift you up. There's something about uh, the, the chemistry they all had it just makes me laugh. Um, and now reminds me of my childhood, which was a very long time ago. <laughs> and it's everything from Terry and June to Yes Minister um, that just kind of brings back laughing with your dad and mum. RuPaul's Drag Race. So I hadn't seen it, which is crazy because all my friends are well up on RuPaul's Drag Race. So while I was filming Gentleman Jack, I would get home after filming, get in the bath, put my iPad up, and what I watched 13 seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race. Made me laugh, made me cry, uplifted me. Just, just brilliant. The TV show that I always rewatch um, is The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> because I like to just get transported into this ridiculous world um, that they live and it's just outrageous and campy and silly and fun and it's light-hearted but also it's a lot of drama so it makes you feel a bit better about yourself sometimes. <laughs> My family have very different tastes. Trying to pick a film to watch on Christmas Day is like pulling teeth but um, we always just resort to going and finding whatever channel, keeping up appearances as long as it's, it tends to just be on at, at some point in the day, anytime. And there's nothing that um, makes us all die laughing like that. It's a very communal laugh, that show. I think now the TV show that we would all watch, you know, myself, my husband, my mum, my dad, my daughter, uh, would probably be Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, it's so funny. So cringy, so clever, um, and I honestly don't know how he gets away with it, Larry David. <laughs> but he does, thank the Lord, because it is in a class of its own. A TV show that unites my household, probably from childhood, it would be The Simpsons. So whenever The Simpsons came on, it was always after school and my parents would come home from work and we'd all just watch it together. So now whenever I see The Simpsons, I, I feel extreme sense of nostalgia. Growing up, I was always watching EastEnders and Coronation Street. I remember like Mondays when it was like 7.30 till nine o'clock, you just watch them back to back. Um, so we'd always come and watch that. So whenever I go home back to visit my family, my mum's always got like all the soaps on. Straight away, EastEnders comes to my head. I think that was one that as a family, we would always sit down and watch. 
But I think over the years, I think it's strictly, to be honest, the when my mum will watch it, I'll be watching it. It's like getting on the phone straight afterwards and having that conversation who I thought was best that week, who she did. So I think it unites people in a special way. TV show that unites my household without question is Strictly Come Dancing. Um, we change our plans <laughs> to, to be there. So yeah, we get in, it's very important to be, yeah, to be watching it live as it goes out. So when I was a kid, I'd say a show that unites our household would be um, Wildlife on One. That just, everything, I just think whenever I hear David Attenborough's voice, there is something so hopeful and nostalgic about it. It's, it, he represents, now and our future, but he also, you know, I was born in the 80s, so he's, he's kind of soundtracked my entire youth. One of my fondest memories of sitting down to watch television as a house was watching Idris Elba's In the Long Run on Sky, because when it all came out on Sky at the same time, we just sat there for hours and we just watched it from the beginning to the end as a family. Um, I don't even, I think it was before the lockdown happened that we did that. So, but it was just, it's just a beautiful memory, you know, of my dad, my sister, my mum all sat there on the sofa, being engaged, laughing along, feeling like a connection, seeing our family or a version of our family or people that we know on screen, you know, it felt very comfortable, very at home. So in the long run, it's definitely, when I think of watching TV as a family, that's one of the first memories that come to mind.